Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and in this video, we are back with another album review in the KISS uh, chronology, and uh, yeah, last episode we did Destroyer, so um, if you're already like uh, a huge KISS fan, you already know which one's next, uh, you know, because uh, some huge KISS fans actually do come and watch these album reviews just to see other people's opinions uh, on certain albums, but um... If you're new to KISS, then you probably won't know what album this is, but, uh, it's rock and roll over. Uh, this is, uh, their fifth studio album, their sixth album overall, if you include, uh, their live album, uh, Alive. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to show you guys the cover once again. Uh, just like in the last episode, there's a little bit of glare on the, uh, case, because obviously it's just a standard CD case, so, um... My camera glare, can't really do anything about it. Uh, there we go, if I tilt it a little bit, you guys can see it pretty good. So yeah, uh, this is one of their coolest uh, covers they have, to be honest with you. Really cool artwork, and uh, if you didn't know this, uh, they would later release in uh, 2009, Sonic Boom. And uh, uh, if you know what that cover looks like, if, if you don't, type in on Google and you can see. Uh, but... That cover was based off of this one, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, I just realized I have the case upside down. Uh, there you go. That's right. There we go. <laughs> I was showing you the case upside down. Sorry about that. But uh, here's the inside. It's hard to tell what which way is upside down with this because um, of the fact that uh, the cover pretty much looks good whichever way you tilt it. So yeah, anyways, uh, inside case, we've got the book, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Here's the CD. I really like how the CD looks. It's got a cool uh, blue color with the rock and roll over thing going around uh, the entire CD. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, this is the remastered, so the little story behind uh, the CD. Now let me show you guys <clears throat> the booklet. Uh, all right. When you open up the booklet for Rock and Roll Over, we've got this really cool thing right here. It's got uh, sort of Kiss logos with lightning bolts under them, and uh, they're facing different directions. So I think that looks really cool, and uh, I think that was cool that they added that in the uh, inside. Uh, it's a little, the light, lighting is not too good in this room right now, so I'm sorry if you can't really see this very well. But that's just the writing credits for all the different songs. And uh, yeah, this was uh, produced by Eddie Kramer. And if you don't know Eddie Kramer, he actually produced uh, the Kiss demo tape, the first Kiss demo tape. And uh, that demo tape was very important in Kiss's success because uh, that led uh, to Casablanca hearing the uh, hearing the uh, demo tape and thinking how awesome the song sounded and how they wanted them how they wanted to sign them. And if they hadn't gotten signed, you know, we may not even know who Kiss is. So you know, it's definitely important that we have that demo tape. But yeah, uh, Eddie, Eddie Kramer is the guy who was behind that, and he also produced this album. Uh, so that's sort of some facts about the album. But now let's get into talking about my thoughts on it. Uh, first of all, this is a great album. This came out in the year 76, which, if you don't know, is the same year that uh, Destroyer came out, which is the previous album that we reviewed. Uh, so yeah, this is a great album. Uh, nothing too bad to say about it. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll, let me talk about some of the songs. Uh, I'll just say some of my favorite songs. Instead of going through every different song, I'll just uh, state out some of my songs I like on this album. Uh, I Want You is a good one. Uh, we got Love Em and Leave Em, that's pretty cool. Uh, Baby Driver, that's a cool one. Uh, Mr. Speed, I like that one. Uh, and there's others ones. You know, pretty much every song is good, so I'm, you know, I don't really need to... Uh, list through them all, but uh, I think you're definitely gonna like it. Uh, and by the way, this has uh, another one of their all time hits on here, which is, of course, Calling Dr. Love. Uh, 
once again, that's one of their most famous songs, you know. Uh, that was a big one for Kiss. And it's not my favorite on the album. I think there's a better songs on the album than Calling Dr. Love. But not a bad song nonetheless, you know. It was a pretty big hit for Kiss. So, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, definitely, definitely a good one. Uh, it feels very like, uh, classic Kiss, you know what I mean? I think that's a good word to describe it. Uh, more facts on the album, uh, the track See You In Your Dreams was actually re-recorded for a solo album, a Gene Simmons solo album, uh, which came in 78 with the rest of the solo albums, uh, we'll get to reviewing those later down the line, uh, but, yeah, actually that ended up being re-recorded for that album because Gene didn't like the See You In Your Dreams that ended up on this album. Uh, I think both are good versions, actually it's hard for me to pick a favorite, you know, between Gene's and between the uh, full Kiss version. Uh, so yeah, this is on Casablanca Records still, you know, they wouldn't be changing that label uh, for a while, actually. I believe the last record that they did on Casablanca is uh, Creatures of Night. Once again, we'll review that down the line. We're going to review all their albums, so, uh, you know, be sure to stay tuned for that. But uh, I'd probably rate this like a, a 4 out of 5, or a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, I want to start incorporating that system in my reviews, the uh, star rating, uh, because I think that gives you a good idea of how good you're going to think the album is. And take my opinion with a grain of salt, because, you know, uh, once we get to reviewing albums like The Elder, there's going to be people, be people who love and who hate it. So most people pretty much love this album, and uh, I have to agree with that. Great cover, great songs, classic kiss, heyday right here, uh, this is some... Great tracks, and I think uh, it's overall a must-have in your KISS collection. A great one to pick up if you're getting into KISS. And, uh, yeah, this is the remastered version. Uh, and that's basically all I have to say, you know. Another great album in KISS's career. Nothing really bad to say about it. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed this album review, be sure to hit the like button down below. It uh, gives me a lot of support. And subscribe if you're new to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.